When in doubt, let Lady Luck decide. I think it's time to just flip a coin. Flip a coin and see where it lands. So, heads or tails? I'm kind of excited to look down. <laughs> Actually, probably more excited than I should be. I'm in public. Okay. It's tails! Leather. <laughs> that probably sounded a little creepier than it was supposed to. The fastest and probably most stylish way to travel to Riften would be by horse, but I suspect I will not be able to afford one. There is, of course, the carriage, which is cheaper, but not very comfortable or stylish. They look quite comfortable when they're stood still, but as soon as they start moving, those things are like backbreakers. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford a horse, though. I really don't. Uh, White Run Stables. I've got about 800 coins. Hello! Jervar. Need a horse? Yes. Talk to my father, Skolvar. Is this your father? What do you want, Imperial? I want a horse. Need something? Yes! A horse! I just said! I... Yes, father. Oh. Groom her too? You know I did. You clean out that muck? Yes, father, I did. And I watered her and I got <coughs> and refitted Custom the old here. Stuff, Just like you asked. Is there anything else? Don't suppose there is. But you don't have to be so damn prickly. Well, you were nagging. Uh, okay. Hello. hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, oh, how old are your horses? None of them's older than nine. And the youngest is six. Now, the horse I got for sale is seven years old. But in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Alfsiger. Or just Ali for short. Ali. I expect you can name her anything you like once she's yours. But yeah, okay, about that, how much? Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. That is... Whoa! What? No. Uh, I'm... Yeah, right. Suit yourself. Yes, I intend... Right to. strong. Okay. Now, stealing a horse I... is... Did someone say something? No. Oh, okay. hey. No. Well, don't follow me so closely then. Yeah, stealing a horse is probably a bad idea. The, uh... Kiranda. Yeah, the, uh, the penalty for horse stealing is usually pretty severe. And horses are not that common that you can sort of just blend in. So, yeah, no, I found this one. It was just lying there. No, but where's the... Hello? Bjurlam? Need a ride? Uh, yes, I want to go to Riften. Where do you want to go? Uh, Riften, 20 gold. Climb and back and we'll be off. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I could walk. I could walk. But I'm not going to. <laughs> You're feeling a bit hungry and thirsty. Ah, well. Well, I could eat. I do have food. However, I think I'll buy a meal at the inn. Hello? Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Visitor's tax? This is a shakedown, the isn't it? privilege of entering the city. What the privilege. I've heard of Riften. This is obviously a shakedown. All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I might. I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Good man. Dear, oh dear. Okay, probably traders. You can head inside Take my when advice. You're ready. Don't listen to that talk of a face sculptor down in the ragged flagon. Face butcher is more like it from what I've Face heard. sculptor. Oh, somebody's going to change the shape of your face. That does sound unpleasant and, in my case, completely unnecessary. My face is perfect as it is. Riften! 
Good grief. I had another run -in with that is a game. large axe. Be careful, Mule. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at its back. One snap Maven of the fingers and you could Black end up in Rifton Jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. Okay, so she does not like the Thieves' Guild and she has a very large axe. I mean, seriously, that is... Talk about looking suspicious. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Oh, yes! Uh, could you point me in the direction? I'd like to buy some. Just pass it. What is it to you? What is it to you? Yes. Don't say something you'll regret. I Last really do. The Briars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. Loudmouth? I'm not loud. I am appropriately volume controlled for the occasion. Who are the Blackbriars then? The Blackbriars have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Oh, I really don't Me, like you. I'm Maul. I watch the streets for I'm them. Maul. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. Oh. But it'll cost you. Okay. Dirt her. I'm not exactly clean myself. Okay, here's what I can tell you. How about you tell me for free? Yes! Why don't you tell me for free? I'm such a nice person. <laughs> don't make me laugh. Just stay out of the Blackbriar's affairs. You'll live longer. Okay. Blackbriar's affairs. Mall. I need a notepad. Yes, I do. I need a little book in which to write down names. Maul. Can't say I like him very much. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter and nothing would have happened. New around Riften? Take my advice. Stay at the B and Bar. The bunkhouse isn't for you. Welcome to Riften, home of the thief's kill. I'm trying to eavesdrop on someone's conversation here. Just thugs, vermin, creeping around the rat Her outfit makes me think I should possibly get to know her. You looking for something or what? I might be Halga. What can I do for you? Are you the one that works at the bunkhouse? Okay. What's the bunkhouse? Actually, probably good to get the lay of the of land. Of course not. You expect me to take care of it by myself? I have My no idea what Svana it is. Helps me with the chores. Svana. She'd be more help if she kept her head out of the clouds. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. Forgive me, I was uh, paying attention to somebody else because you're boring. Um, goodbye. I don't know why I bother. No, me neither. Right. And in the bee and barb. And this looks like a market. Rose. You a wizard or something? <sighs> yeah. Sure, mm. sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? If you're looking I for anything don't. to sell uh, for a fair price, I run the pond prawn over by the market. Pond prawn. Where's the pond prawn? I am looking. This does look like a market. What if we get? Oh, shops. We got here. Pond prawn. Well, he's not. Th what time is it? Is it? Am I? Oh. All the shops are probably closed. Meadery. Nice. Blacksmith. And. Oh, out of curiosity. Balamon. see Balamon perform miracles with steel, eh? Okay. You seem quite proud of your work. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Impressive, I think. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. I'll get some for you. Will I? Maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe I can. And then you can do me some favors. Uh, make me some better weapons, for example. You will? Thank you. 
Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. And you will be eternally grateful and make things cheaply for me, correct? Yes? <sighs> okay. I imagine current events are keeping you busy. I need training and smithing. Hell no, I don't. Where can I find fire salts? A flame atronox body might provide fire salt. They're dangerous creatures that can be summoned by wizards. Okay. Of course, it would be much easier to check with an alchemist. They occasionally have them for sale. Okay, check with the alchemists because they have them for, um, <laughs> sale. Okay, my good blacksmith, I'm in need of your crafting expertise. I might be. Can you temper my armor? Can you hone my weapon? Are you handy with the tanning rack? Wh tanning rack? Of course he's, he's using one. Maybe he can make leather armor. I imagine current events are keeping you busy. People say I'm making gold off of other people's misery. But what else would I do? Smithing is all I know. Seems Next totally time, reasonable to me. Deflects a killing blow. They'll change their tune. Okay then. Uh, what have you got for sale? I hmm. do actually have some Blades, items that I was unable to, to, to sell. Let's see what I can. Well, actually, out of curiosity, hide, hide. Leather boots, leather braces, leather helmet. Don't like the helmet. Braces are not too bad. Oh, good grief! <sighs> Pants. Why, why is it so difficult to find pants, really? I mean, I don't actually think Remember, I'm being too unreasonable. Fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. The forge knows the difference. Okay. Psst, is that true? Okay, um... So... Assuming this is going to be closed, I probably should just find a room for the night and then check around in the morning. Got the coin? You've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Also, people of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile Boy, are you in the wrong and place. the teachings of the handmaiden of Kain. No, no, Mama. We talked about this. Talon? Kira, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Marama. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. Den of iniquity? Out. I like Just that. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Right. Okay, this is... Blessings of Mara upon you. Uh, thank you. Never done an Ooh. honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, lad. Never uh... done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, lad. Define... Honest. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. How could you possibly know that? My wealth is none of your business. This is also true. Are you the man I'm looking for? It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. I the way think they walk, you are. What they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. What I'm wearing! Okay, you're definitely not the man I'm looking for. I'm wearing mage's robes. Which, granted, I did take from the corpse of a dead person that had been tortured to death in an imperial prison. Which should probably tell you an awful lot about me, but not what you're thinking. What do you mean? Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. Ah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, no, 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 you, 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 okay. You seem to be well acquainted with wealth, other people's. Wealth is my business. Help me out, and I can add to yours. Oh. Would you like a taste? Yes, indeed. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. Okay. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. And what exactly do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Medesi's ring? It, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Okay. 
You what? Right. Why plant the ring on Bran Shea? I really don't care. Breaking the law? Are you kidding? Uh, why plant a ring on Bran Shea? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. 8 in the morning? Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. Okay, what, uh, how am I supposed to do all this? I just steal a ring, put it in someone's pocket. Why are we doing this to him? I really don't think that's any of my business. Um. I'll be at the market come morning. You better be there too. I'm going to be there. I'm not totally sure about this whole eight o'clock in the mo- I saw a what letter there. Oi! Don't give me attitude. I was just growing to like you. Hello? Sapphire? Yeah. What's your problem? I'm just curious. Did you see a letter there? Because I swear I saw a letter right there. Yeah. What's your problem? Okay, never mind. Okay, fine. Sorry, I'm Bar I can't help you much person. Like Kariva. Uh, if you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. I do have coin. I would what like... Can I get you? I would Eat like a... Wine? Uh, ooh, what's the word around town? The Thieves Guild has been pushing hard to regain a foothold in this city. Rumor has it they're falling apart from the inside. Okay. That is good news. Well, not for them, but for me. And... when well, which one did I ask? All right, heard any rumors? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark no. Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. How big is it? Could I fit it in a bag? Because otherwise, probably not totally interested in it. I'd like to ref I'd like a refill of water. I would, but it's going to cost money. Oh, you know what? I Let's wait until I've run out of water. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Please tell me it's got sheets. Please tell me it's got sheets. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Oh. Okay. Notice of cost increase. What? 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 Black Briar Meadery, Kariva. As of this month, I'm afraid we're going to have to double the cost for Black Briar Mead. Really? As you're no doubt well aware, there's quite a, a bit of civil unrest occurring within Skyrim. With this civil unrest comes increased costs to us for shipment protection, ingredients and labour. I think you'll find your customers more than willing to share in this burden by absorbing the cost through the, a price increase I recommend. You institute immediately. Failure to comply with our new costs will result in an immediate interruption of Black Bri Briar Mead. Sincerely, Maven Bri Black Briar. Okay. So Maven Black Briar is... Probably a bad idea, isn't it? You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap mead? Um, maybe, maybe a little later. First of all, I'm going to go and check out my room. And then check out everybody else's room, just in case. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Sheets! Seriously! Sheets! I have a feeling Riften is going to be one of those cities that I have mixed feelings about. I'm going to be constantly torn between the urge to sing my kind of town and you. <sighs> okay, so it's almost 10. No, it is 10. And uh, I could go to sleep and get on with the job I've been asked to do. Yeah. What's your problem? But that would seem to what be. Wasn't I clear about? Are you saying that I'm not allowed to do anything else except the job you asked me to do? Because that, I'm afraid, is not going to work. I'm just wandering around... ...inspecting the place in case there's a fire and I need to know how to escape. That is what I'm doing. I'm a conscientious person... ...who is giving serious uh, thought to becoming uh, a food inspector as well. Let's have a quick look. Is the, I didn't really do a very good job of checking to see if there's anyone else around here, but... Okay, so we've got a cellar filled with 
food produce down here. We have got people. What wasn't I clear about? Oh, go away. Welcome to the bee and bar. Oh, and I can cook some food. Now, I actually have a lot of food. And I think I should... Oh, pheasant roast, for example. But I did not decide to stay up all night just to cook snacks. That's a nice outfit. In Darin. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, this is about the meadery. We can talk later. Ooh. Really? You run, you run the Blackbriar Meadery? Maven Blackbriar wants me to keep the mead flowing. And that's what I aim to do, despite all these lazy good-for-nothings that work for us. Ever since I took over as a foreman, the production of our mead has never been more profitable. And if the meadery is profitable, I'll get rich. Get the picture? Yeah. Okay, tell me about Maven Blackbriar. Lady Maven could buy or sell anyone in Skyrim. I wouldn't be surprised if she's the one pulling the strings around this city. Okay. She's always welcome in Miss Vale Keep. And between you and me, I'm pretty sure she even has some pretty influential friends within the Empire. So... I'd also warn you not to cross her. She employs quite a few troubleshooters to take care of messy problems. All right, then. So she is a potential competitor well, or ally. That was important. Depending on how you look at it. Okay. New around Riften? Take my advice. Stay at the B and Bar. The bunkhouse isn't for you. Yeah, I think you mentioned that earlier. And you is are something I can do for you. Well, I am curious. Yes. Okay, don't care how you met Kavir. What's on the menu? I'd like a refill. You mentioned you served special Ooh, no, tell me about the Thieves Guild. They're vermin. Garbage. Okay. They're exactly what makes this city such a horrible place to live. How appropriate they should live in the rat way with the rest of the trash. Okay, that sounds vaguely horrible. The if rat you'll excuse way. Me, I have other things to attend to. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. Okay, fair enough. I'm brief, just Imperial. going to check. Only so long I can stand being downwind of your stench. Okay, Volwolf. Let's put that name on the list as well. So, steal from Dresser. Oh. Okay then. What have we got here? Mara smiles upon you. Oh God. Talonjai, I've checked with Mar Mar Maramal, and I'm certain an arrangement can be made to incorporate the traditional Argonian bonding ceremonies should the need arise. It would be our pleasure to receive you at the temple and to have Maramal perform a marriage ceremony between yourself and Kariva, but we request the appropriate tithe be made as we previously discussed. Whatever you decide, I wish you both the best of luck and hope to see you here soon. Dinya Balu. Okay. Oh, no! I didn't actually mean to steal that. It's not valuable. And somebody will now know I was in their... Um, place. You should generally only take what you know you can sell or use. Our blue friend. Talon. No, I haven't forgotten about that thing you helped me with. I checked the Khajiit cell and I'm afraid he doesn't have any flawless amethyst stash there. The Khajiit cell. Okay. There's a strange necklace and some ebony ore though. That's about it. Unless you want a stupid bug in a jar for some reason. If none of that's any use, I'll cut you in on whatever I make from selling his weapons. His armor's already gone, I'm afraid. If he wants to keep his cell, he'll have to raise a few more septims somehow. If he wants to keep his cell. Okay. What an odd thing to say. Why would anybody want to keep their cell? The dream of Sovngarde. What on earth is this? Okay. A book. Um, was there anything else? No. So, we should check the local prison for something of interest. Okay, I heard yawning. Of crossed daggers. So, what have we got in here? Uh, nothing of. Oh, fine clothes. You know what? Fine clothes could be nice. Nightingales, fact. 
or fiction by Wilhelmina Roth. Mention the Nightingale to any thief worth his salt, and he'll laugh in your face. He'll tell you the supposed Avengers of the Daedric Lord, Nocturnal, are nothing but fictional characters who live nowhere else but within tales designed to scare young footpads into doing what they're told. But are they fictional or simply mis misunderstood? While it's true that most scholars would scoff at the notion of a holy sect appearing within the normally unethical and unorganised rabble that is the Thieves' Guild, Evidence suggests that such a group existed at one time within the borders of Skyrim. 120 years before the publication of this tome, a corpse was discovered wearing a strange suit of armour that was described as forged midnight. That does sound remarkably nice. The tattered armour, it no longer sounds remarkably nice. The tattered armour bore a crest of some sort, the symbol of a bird embracing a circle, undetailed blackness. The remains of the... Okay. A bird in embracing a circle of undetailed blackness. The remains and the armour was taken to the College of Winterhold for study, but mysteriously vanished only a day after it arrived. The crest from this armour was circulated around Skyrim for years, but identification proved almost impossible. Then, the most unlikely of sources, a prisoner incarcerated within the mines of Markarth, claimed that it was the mark of a group of thieves who called themselves the Nightingales. You see, that's a stylish name, isn't it? The Thieves' Guild, it's a bit of a boring name. It's got no drama. It's got no romance. The Nightingales. That's kind of sexy. When pressed for more information, the prisoner claimed that the Nightingales were warriors of Nocturnal and performed her bidding without question. He claimed his source was someone he knew within the Thieves' Guild of Skyrim, but he refused to identify them by name, so his story was quickly dismissed. The second piece of evidence pointing to the existence of the Nightingales exists to this day just outside of Riften. Discovered at the terminus of a short pathway off of the main road stands a stone of unidentified blackened material. Carved into its face is the same avian symbol previously found on the dark suit of armour. To those that subscribe to the existence of the Nightingales, this was thought to be some sort of meeting place. To others, this symbol was once again dismissed as a hoax, or simply a diversion created by the Thieves' Guild. Hmm... That might be something I want to check out. I mean, I'm no fan of traipsing around the countryside for uh, a laugh, but if there is something of interest out there. The final and most controversial sample of evidence is a passage found scrawled in the inside of a cell wall in Whiterun. The cell had previously been occupied by a Dumna named Lothus and was... Uh, sorry, by a Dumna named Lothus was incarcerated for murder and was set for execution. After the deed was performed and Lothar's cell was examined, the following was found etched into one of the black stone blocks. Take my hand, Lady Nocturnal, for it's my will to serve you. As a nightingale, I'm born anew. Let my past echo our triumph. This is the first and only time that a solid connection between Nocturnal and the nightingales has been made. The unusual nature of the passage, the religious connotations towards Nocturnal made by a career criminal, kept discussions lively for years regarding the possibility of this group actually existing. Sadly, not a single piece of evidence beyond this has surfaced to date. This exciting discovery faded into obscurity and the debate subsided. With these scant samples of evidence, conclusions are difficult to formulate. All we're left with are more questions than answers. Can religion and thievery coexist? Does the Daedric Lord Nocturnal have active agents roaming Skyrim with a no doubt nefarious purpose? Good grief, I hope so. Does the Thieves' Guild have extensive knowledge of the Nightingales but remain sworn to secrecy? Perhaps one day the answers to these questions will be revealed, but at present it falls to you, the reader, to decide whether the Nightingales are fact or merely fiction. Okay, interesting. Of crossed daggers, it's not really that valuable. Of crossed daggers. The history of Riften. You know what? I'm going to take that. I may read that later. That could be interesting. Okay. Well, I've got myself a decent outfit, although I'm not totally sure it's the uh, right outfit for this place. Although, let's be honest, 
what is fine clothes. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. no, no, that looks a lot better. That, at least people will stop thinking I'm a mage. Ooh. A locked door. Intriguing. Okay, that was nice. Thank you very much. An open ledger. Interesting. Steel boots. Don't think I need those. Right. Septins. Water skin. Empty. I'm going to take another one. So I've got more water. Steel from wardrobe. Do you have any ragged robes? I think... <gasps> Strong box. Come to daddy. Oh, good grief. Yes. Still rusty. Yes, indeed. It's this sort of numb feeling I have in my hands. No feedback, so to speak. Uh, Armourer's iron ingot. 61. Oh, nice. Forge numbers. Oh. I can forge some new numbers in the business ledger. I'm not going to do that unless I have an actual reason to do so. You never know, I may get a reason later on. So, should I go to bed and get some sleep for the job tomorrow? Or should I wander? Yeah, what's your problem? Indecision. Yours? Um. What wasn't I clear about? I'm just, what, it's a, it's an it. Oh my God, you irritating people. I'm going for a walk. My evening constitutional. That's the woman with the big axe. This is the market. I need to come here tomorrow between eight and something o'clock. And in the meantime, what else do we have? A palace, almost certainly. An orphanage. Oh, good God, children. <sighs> Back door. Always good to know where the back door is. Yes, indeed. So we've got a palace. Anything else over here? Oh. Okay, is this another back door? A graveyard. And... Okay, temple. Okay, locked gate. This is... that's... what's his name, isn't it? Talos. Nura Snowshot. How can a humble servant of Talos help you today? You can't. I... Talos, please serve you. No real intro... Activate... Time between shouts is... Why would I want to shout? Talos Seriously. Talos bless you, my child. A graveyard! I'm, uh... Not too proud to... Rifle around in a graveyard occasionally. Hello. I want to get in there. I want to get in there and find out what's in there. There's bound to be treasure. It's got... I have treasure written all over it. Yes, it does. Look at it. Memo to self. Come back. Rob tomb later. This just leads back to the front gate, I believe. Yes, indeed. Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Okay. Somebody has insecurity issues. Bolly's house? Who is Bolly? Erin? Same question. You're looking a bit lost there. Over here we have the bunkhouse. This is a place to stay if I don't want to stay at the inn. Honeyside, Honeyside requires key, does it just? Okay. And on this side, all we have left are a few houses? Snowshod man. Oh, those are the people that were being rude to me. Well, one of them was being rude to me. We were... We must definitely pay that place a visit later on. Rift Wield Manor. Okay. 
This is a temple, right? Temple of Mara. Temples often have items of value Ladies in them. Okay. Personal space, people. Dinya Baloo. That name rings a bell for some reason. Madam, may I help you, my son? I want to know about the temple. Do I? Really? Maybe. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Okay. Mm. May you return to her benevolence and safety. Yeah, I shall do that. Shrine of Mata healing spells restore 10% more. Uh, not really a thing, but, you know, let's just join in. Need and something? What is it you seek, Same my thing. child? Um, enlightenment or something. Visiting Riften? Which All of the eight divines the do you serve? We are devoted to the goddess Mara, yeah, who gave mortals the gift question. of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Okay, blessings that's very many. nice. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. May I receive her blessings? Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are okay, I don't mind exploring jewels. Bring the light across this land? Oh yes, jewels. Tell me what's... Um, sure. Get to the bit about jewels, though. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman. Foot of the throat. Almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Wait, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, you want me to go off? Please to meet you. A small milling settlement I'm a east at the Temple of Mara. You want me to go off matchmaking? And what, what was the bit about the jewel yes? thing? Okay. Gods and worship. I'm just looking around you. Okay. So, um... Good evening. Evening! I'm just, uh... Ooh. Yeah, probably a food larder. Love bug in a jar. I have absolutely no idea what that is. All I know is I have to have it. <laughs> Yes, I do. Um. Okay. Steal from cupboard. Don't mind if I do. Yes, do mind if I do. Broom. Why would I want a broom? Steal from a barrel. No, thank you. Lots of food. Blue Mountain. F oh, you know what? I'm stealing someone's flowers, but... Oh, I've got to do my testing of alchemy, he says, screaming loudly. Uh, no. No. Wardrobe, empty, ruined book. Now, the million dollar question here is, is there any way in hell I'm going to be able to... Yeah, that's not happening, is it? Maybe if I come back later, when they're asleep. Please tell me these people sleep. Because I have to have that. I, I just, I don't know what it is. I do not know what it is. But I have to have it. 
I don't have one. I need one. This just just that's just how it is now. It's a thing that needs to be in my life and on my shelf. I don't have a shelf yet. I'm going to need to get a shelf just so I can ha ah black briar manor. This would be the house of Maven Blackbriar. I should possibly head in there and pay my respects sometime in the uh, near future. Mist Veil Keep. Mist Veil Keep discovered. Rift and Jail. Hmm. Nice beard. We must definitely check in there. Lots of people training in the middle of the night? Come on, it's it's almost midnight. Have some fun. You know, I mean, what are you people doing? Yes, that unpleasantness at Keldon supposedly okay. involved a dragon. It killed several soldiers before it departed. He is no leader. I'm hearing someone talk about a dragon. In preparing a private carriage, just in case. Hello, can I? Good. What is it, Imperial? It's only right that it's no longer gagging. Can I go? This, this, this doesn't look like the sort of place I should really go. You don't mind? Okay. Hello? Hi. Hello? Interesting. Let me wander. Oh, everyone's going to sleep. Everyone is going to Everyone's going to sleep. Sibby Blackbriar. I'm walking around the place. Oh. This is a map. What happens if I... Oh! This updates my map! Oh, does it just? Right. Okay, let's... Get everything on my map. Information. Always useful to have. Okay, so... They don't seem to mind me wandering around here, which is awfully strange. Mistvale Keep Jarl's Chambers. Probably going to mind if I uh, wander around there. Yes, indeed. The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. Still I'm from chess. No. Okay, this look. Ah! This is an alchemy lab? Arcane Enchanter? I'm wondering what the, whether what I should do... Oh. I should come back here sometime reasonably soon. And, uh, you know. Well, you know. However... In the meantime, I need a plan of action. We've got a bunch of manors over there. We've got some houses. We've got some shops. We have a palace filled with nice, shiny things. Oh, and we have Lovebug in a jar. Let's not forget Lovebug in a jar. Yeah.